Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily business news video. Now, I told you I would double up today, which I've done, and that's what I'm doing here. So, welcome back. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I studied or, you know, at least reviewed this afternoon, which was a USP, a unique selling point. And what exactly is a unique selling point? A unique selling point is something that differentiates you from the rest of the market. So, uh, I know Google has this big, you know, definition about unique selling proposition, but I basically, what it is, is how you are different from the rest of the market, how your product is different from what else is being offered out there. Um, and that can come in very, uh, in many different shapes and forms. So obviously, for example, if you have the unique selling point of, uh, of a product, it means that your product is different from what's currently available, right? So... Uh, for for example, uh, at, at one point, you know, uh, Domino's was able to differentiate themselves because they had like the, uh, I think it was like a deliver under 30 minutes or you get it for free, right? So that's a unique selling point. That's something that made them different from the average market. Um, same with McDonald's when they first came out, right? It was takeaway. It was fast. It was quick. It was convenient. It was available immediately and irrespective of where you went. It was the same thing every store that you went to, right? Unique selling point. <clears throat> Now, as it, as it applies to us small business owners, right, us solopreneurs out there, how does this principle apply? So, because uh, the, the reality is, is that there's an opportunity that someone is part of, but then there's hundreds and thousands and even tens of thousands of people that are involved in the same business, right? And how do you differentiate yourself from everybody else? I wanted to give you a few ideas on how to go about doing that. So, you know, one, for example, could be an ebook. If there's an ebook that you've written that you can offer for free as them joining your particular opportunity, that makes you unique, right? Because nobody else can offer that ebook that you've written except you, right? Another way is obviously your training courses for the exact same reason. And that's probably even more powerful. Another thing is a private Facebook group that you have access to or you've created yourself. Another one could be a group mastermind that you've put together yourself based on these unique individuals that have chosen to invest their time and money into what it is that you have to offer and that they want to be part of it, right? Another unique selling point could be one-on-one -on -one coaching and that's something that I use to differentiate myself in terms of what I offer um, and what other people offer because I know my time is valuable, but I also know if I can sit down and talk one-on-one -on -one with a person that I can really help make a difference in what it is that they actually do. So, uh, how, how you can go about doing that is exactly what I've just said. If you didn't quite catch that, go through those five points again. I think it was five, maybe even six and figure out how you can apply exactly what I've just said to your business to make you differentiate yourself, to make you stand out from the market or from your niche or from everybody else that's basically doing exactly what you're doing. That's how you differentiate yourself, right? You take something that's unique to you that only you have to offer and you offer that as a product, as a service, as a training course, or whatever the case may be for you, all right? Now, I've written a blog post on this and if you want access to that blog post, you know, just comment below and I'll go ahead and send you the direct link for that. Uh, the blog post is actually available. I literally just finished it like half an hour ago, right? I spent probably close to two, maybe even three hours putting it together, going into more detail about this specific topic. But essentially, guys, that's how you go about differentiating yourself from everybody else. Remember, there's there's a thousand people out there that are involved in the particular business or opportunity that you're involved in. How do you make yourself different? You. You're the one thing that's different from everybody else. And you can you can uh, splice that in so many different ways. Again, it can be from ebooks, training courses, one-on-one -on -one coaching, mentoring, mastermind groups, Facebook groups, right? Offering your, making yourself available as a coach or a mentor, as a, uh, as a, what's the word, as an incentive for people joining the opportunity that you're part of, that differentiates you from everybody else in the market, which honestly makes 100% sense because if you think about it, if somebody comes to your blog post, if somebody comes and watches your videos, if somebody comes and checks out, you know, whatever, your, your training videos on YouTube, for example, and they go, shit, this is good and I want to learn more. What they're saying is that they're in alignment with you and your message and what it is that you're putting out there and they want more. So the natural inclination should be to gravitate towards that by offering them more of you, 
right? Give them an insight into your life because it's you that makes you unique from the rest of the niche and the market that you're involved in that everybody else is involved in as well, all right? So if you think about, for example, like Tony Robbins, I mean, yes, his knowledge is amazing. We all know that, right? This dude is like next level, unbelievable. I love him. Um, have ever since I first, you know, read about him when I was 17. And so, but for me, what really differentiates him from a lot of the market is the enthusiasm and passion in which he interjects into his messages when he gives them out. You listen to his audios, it feels like he's in the back of the car. You watch his seminars, you feel like he's in the room, like talking to you, right? That's what I love about him. And for me, that's what differentiates him a lot from the market that's out there, from everybody else that's out there. So, what again, what's what's made him different, what's made him different in that instance compared to thousands of other, you know, um, <clears throat> entrepreneurs out there as a motivational speakers and so on and so forth, his energy, his passion, right? And Jimbo's on this call and I guarantee you he will say the exact same thing about Grant Cardone, right? He has, honestly, he has same, uh, very similar strategies, if not the same as tons of other people that I've read about, that I've studied, that I've gotten into, but where he's different is the energy and passion that he interjects into his message. So again, that's just one way that you can be different from the rest of the market, all right? So you find your unique selling point. Give what it is that you have to offer. Whether you believe there's value there or not, trust me, there is. The The question of, of value, like, oh no, you know, like I don't really have much to offer, I don't really have anything unique, that's not a question of what you're capable of and what it is that you really know. That's a question of self-efficacy. You doubt what you truly have has value, but I'm here to tell you that it does, right? You only need to know one thing better than the person behind you to make a hell of a difference in their life. And as long as you're one step better, right, you're always going to be improving. And that's what puts you above and beyond everybody else. All right. So look, I hope you enjoyed this message. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow to all the mothers. But I will be bringing a business boost just in case for whatever reason I don't see you. Much love and respect to everybody. I love my mom. She's the greatest woman in the world. My number one fan has always had my back. I've had people come and go in my life. Mom has always been there. So I have the, the most profound respect for mothers, especially for single mothers. Take care, much love. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.